Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. It doesn't get much better than dunking an Oreo into milk. It just adds a little something extra, namely milk. So maybe that's why Google went with the name Android Oreo for the eighth version of its mobile OS that it's rolling out, dunking your smartphone into some exciting new features. So then let's pull the newest version of Android apart and have a taste of what's inside. I'll stop that now. Starting out is the significantly revamped notification system, which you can now organize into channels. The basic idea here is to group notifications by category and customize how your phone gets your attention on a per category basis. For example, if you're using a messaging app like Google Hangouts, you can choose to only show some chatter from an unimportant group silently while telling your phone to vibrate, light up, and even override do not disturb when you get an angry ping from your boss asking where that next tech quickie script is. And while we're on the subject of notifications, Oreo offers iOS style notification badges that appear on app icons if they want your attention. Although you won't get a number showing how many notifications you have, they will be drawn in different colors to match the app icon instead of that jarring lurid red that you always get on the iPhone. Here's another one. If you've been using a Google Pixel, you've probably noticed how it uses round icons as opposed to the variety of shapes you might see on other Android devices. With Oreo, app developers can now create adaptive icons that your device will automatically adjust into a circle, square, or rounded, circular, square looking thing, depending on your system settings. Another big visual change is picture in picture. That's right, the feature that was once a huge selling point for sports fans looking to invest in a big screen TV for the living room is now coming to your pocket. The goal is to enable users to carry on, let's say a voice chat, for example, while looking up something pertinent in the background. Sadly, but maybe unsurprisingly though, you'll need to shell out for YouTube Red if you want to watch YouTube videos with the feature. But the changes to Oreo aren't all visual. One of the most notable under the hood improvements is to battery life management. Google is promising, again, that no, really, it's a lot better this time. But although the effectiveness of these power improvements remains to be seen, one thing we are sure of is Oreo's ability to automatically re-enable your Wi-Fi if you're close to a known network, keeping you from burning through your data if you turned it off to avoid stupid pop-ups about joining Cat Lady House Wi-Fi when you were out and about. Last but not least, if you're an instant messaging aficionado, Android stock emojis don't look like weird blobs anymore. So there's that. Though at the same time, Google also apparently decided to use a blob-like octopus as a version mascot. Anyway, Android Oreo is available for these Pixel and Nexus devices and non-Google phones and tablets will be getting it in the coming months. No word yet though on whether we'll be getting a double stuffed revision that has twice the features and twice the regret. Do you ever find yourself needing to control two computers at once? Well, Synergy is the solution for you. It's a software tool that lets you use one keyboard and mouse with multiple computers. And the craziest thing about it is that it even works across different operating systems, including Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Features include clipboard sharing and dragging and dropping files between the computers, custom hotkeys, and more. It's available in both basic and pro versions, with the latter including SSL encryption to secure the data sent between computers. And Synergy is offering a 50% discount to TechQuickie viewers. All you gotta do is click on the link in the video description to check it out. So thanks for watching, guys. Dislike, like, leave a comment with suggestions, check out our other channels, and subscribe!